Hey guys, Troy Massey from Gold Coast Prints here. Today we're going to be talking about colours and brightness, getting it correct when we're printing. More specifically, ICC profiles, colour calibrators and monitor screens. So what is an ICC profile? An ICC profile is a downloadable file that you can overlay on top of your image file in Photoshop and it's going to show you exactly how your image will print out on a specific paper printer combination. For this example today, we're using an ICC profile for Ilford Metallic Gloss on our Epson Shorecolor P8000 printer. This is the print without editing to an ICC profile. And this is the print edited with the ICC profile. As you can see, still nice colors and detail in both prints, but the exposure, the vibrancy, and the quality, overall quality, I believe, in this one is just much, much better because we have edited with that ICC profile. I'll just try and hold these together for you, above and below, so you can get an idea. You can see there, this one's quite a lot duller darker the bottom one with the ICC profile is just much more vibrant bright so as you can see that's the difference that an ICC profile can make when you're printing anyways let's get to the tutorial and check it out today we're going to be going to the Ilford website that's the paper that we're printing on the metallic gloss we're going to go to support, printer profiles and paper settings. And then we're going to come down here to view and download profiles. Select the paper range that we're printing on, which is gallery. The printer brand, our printer is the Epson Shorecolor P8000. So we're going to select that. And these are all the papers that Ilford makes. And these are the corresponding profiles for our printer that we use, the Shorecolor P8000. So we're going to go down and select the metallic gloss profile, tick that over here, and click download selected profiles. And we're going to go into our file explorer down here click on that then go to downloads extract this zip folder which has the profile in it and then here it is this is the icc profile we're going to right click on that install profile and now that will be available in your imaging software Today we're going to be using Photoshop for proofing our photo image. So now in Photoshop, we're going to go up to View, Proof Setup, Custom. And in Customize Proof Condition Box, we're going to go to Device to Simulate. Click on that and select the Ilford Metallic Gloss Paper ICC profile that we've downloaded. We'll leave Preserve RGB numbers unticked. And for rendering intent, we want relative color metric, tick black point compensation, and simulate paper color. These are the general settings that most professional photo labs will be printing with. Click OK. And there you have it. You can double check by going up to view, making sure that proof colors there is ticked. You can also toggle the ICC profile proof on and off by going control Y on Windows or command Y on Mac. So we'll just do that now. You can see the difference. That's it with the ICC profile on. That's it with it off. So we'll leave it on and then we'll start editing um, with that profile showing us exactly how this, this image and this edit is going to look on that printer paper combination. So to start with, We'll create another layer by going Control J on our image file, and then we'll have a look at brightness and contrast, bring that up a little bit. Still keeping in mind that we don't want to blow out the whites and overexpose that area. 
with that layer that I just created. I'm going to go filter, camera raw filter. Just do some editing in here. Raise the shadows up, bring those highlights down a little bit so we still have that detail through those whites I was talking about before. We still want them to be vibrant and bright, so I'll bring the whites up a little bit while bringing the highlights down so we still maintain the detail. A little bit of exposure. A little bit of vibrance, a little bit of saturation. Another good, uh, good thing to keep your eye on as well is obviously the histogram up the top. Um, you've got over to the, the left, you've got your shadows there and your highlights over to the right. So for instance, if we bring the exposure up too far, you'll see in that histogram eventually it'll start clipping up there and you do not want any area of the print in that clipping section otherwise that's indicating that it's just basically whited out and you're not going to get any detail through that section of the print and same goes down the other end for the shadows if you go the other way it's going to be a lot more accurate if you have the um, the color accurate monitor and calibration tools. I wouldn't advise doing it without those tools, but if you do still get the profiles downloaded and, and have a bit of a play around, it will help you a little bit. Um, even though I wouldn't advise it, I would just aim for that histogram to be up the top two thirds region. If you're looking to create a vibrant, poppy, bright print, your histogram is gonna be your best indicator of that. So done here, gonna click OK. And that's it. So that is with our ICC proof on up the top, as you can see. So I'm just going to toggle that so you can see that with and without the ICC profile. So you can see just how different that looks. This is the image as it would appear without the ICC profile. And that's with it on. It's actually looking a little bit dull. So, um, I am going to just boost up that brightness a little bit more. And the Ilford metallic gloss also tends to, with the iridium finish, have this little bit of coolness to it. So I'm just going to put a tiny, tiny bit of a warming filter over that as well. Then we're going to come back down to all these adjustment layers that we've done down here and our edited layer and right click on all of those and group from layers. We'll call that optimization, metallic gloss, MG. Okay. So now all of our adjustment layers and layers for editing to this ICC profile of the metallic gloss are in this folder and we can just click that off. So that's what it was before. That's the original file with the ICC profile overlaid. That's it with the ICC profile off, on, off. So let's toggle that back on, control Y and click our optimizations. So yep. That is how it's going to print out. So I'm happy with that now. So I'm going to save this and send it off to the printer. And as you can see in the intro video from the different prints, um, we did that first print, obviously just with the original file and the second print that's a lot more vibrant and poppy and, and closer to our artistic intention and how it's represented on our social profiles and things like that. Um, it's, a, it's a much brighter, vibrant, more color accurate print to what we were hoping to create in the first place. So <clears throat> I hope that helps guys. And um, yeah, that's ICC profiles and I'll see you for the next tutorial.